Blake custard here, egg custard from Jenny's Walk. Come on in, let's see how to put this lovely egg custard dessert together. Come on in, let's get egg started. egg yolk, and I have here one egg with the egg white and everything in there, and that's lamb, orange, sorry, orange peel I have in there for you. And here, foodies, is that white part of the egg that you all do not like. I take it out and I have it here to show to you that it is there, it is not in the custard. So in here, I have my ginger. You could use fresh ginger. I'm using powdered ginger. It will just melt in very beautiful in there. And I have here some cardamom powder. That's my secret ingredient. Here, I have a shot of Hennessy. I'm going to be using my cinnamon from doTERRA oil cinnamon oil if you want you could use the powder i like the oil everything will just melt in beautiful together here is that wild orange so you have that uh, orange there it's going to just take the freshness away here i have my sugar condensed milk and crema or um evaporated milk as you all will know i am going to be adding a piece of philadelphia cream cheese this is absolutely uh optional you don't have to use that and I'm using some almond essence. So let's get started. So first of all, foodies at room temperature, if you're using the cream cheese, you're gonna be adding in that sugar with the cream cheese. I'm gonna give so it a there you go, foodies, and everything else is such a simple recipe. All you're gonna do is just dump everything now inside that mixing bowl. I pop this egg while So I'm there you go, foodies, everything inside. Now I'm just gonna give it a good mix. Now, foodies, let's not forget that fresh grated nut. So foodies, this is all done now. And here I have this Angostura bitters from the House of Angostura from the beautiful island of Trinidad and Tobago. And this is optional if you wish to use it, not a problem. So now, foodies, let's just move a double strainer I have there. So I just want to pour all of this in into that bowl. So there you go. Just try not to scrape anything too much out from the dregs from the strainer because we do not want that inside our okay so foodies so this is the insta pot with the water there and it's just about an inch under the rack the water is so, so here foodies you're going to cut your foil paper and you're going to take a piece of your paper towel and we're going to rest that there i'm going to put my my custard right there and i'm going to cover it you're going to cover it with the paper inside and the foil paper is on the outer part now by doing that and putting your paper towel there, no steam will drip into your So there we go, all nestled beautiful inside my steamer and I'm going to put it on on the steam for 30 minutes. Okay foodies, so it has been 30 minutes and uh, this is all stopped and I let that steam get out of there all on its own. I didn't try to push it out so it got a little more time in there with that steam. Wow, so there you go. Oh, this looks nice. It's all firm and nice. So now what we're going to do, we're going to put this into the refrigerator for a couple hours. So here we go, foodies. Our lovely flan. Is that a flan? Sorry, our custard that I made here. The Trini custard. So now we're just going to put a plate on it and give it a nice little flip. And there you go. Voila. Lovely custard, as you would say. Trini custard. And you could just put some cherries at about. There you go. It's a lovely presentation there so now let's cut into this highly requested video from that beautiful island of trinidad and tobago that custard that egg custard so let me just sit now out. let's just dig into this lovely custard let's see wow there you go marvelous let's put it in there i think i this is a little too thick that i use to take it off look at that marvelous custard there foodies really cheesy and nice i'm gonna try this i really gonna dig into this mm. oh wow silky creamy sweet all those flavors from that cardamom that nutmeg is just bursting in there look at the texture of it my dear foodies i want you to see i use that cream cheese you don't have to but i did it you could try if you want look at that look at that texture there very cheesy and nice and silky and creamy mm, delightful lovely custard here from jenny's walk and foodies if you wish to make any flavors you could also add mango or pineapple or whatever you like and just dip into this lovely uh, dessert here put it in the refrigerator for more than two hours i had it for actually two hours you could leave it longer delightful so thank you for joining me lovely recipe here from jenny's walk from my kitchen to your kitchen 
Happy cooking!